Yo, what's up, people, man? I'm just gonna give you some quick info on both fighters, the Laro, the Marco, and at the end, I'll give you my official prediction of this fight, which will be tomorrow. I believe it might be on Showtime. Not sure, but I think it may be on Showtime. Anyway, let's start off with Antonio DeMarco. He's southpaw. He's 24 years old. He's 5'10", 23 wins, 17 KOs, one loss, one draw. From uh, Mexican, fighting out of California, I believe. Edwin Valero. No doubt, he's from Venezuela. When he has a big, huge Venezuelan flag tattooed on his chest. He's southpaw. He, he, he's 5'7", he's, he's 28 years old, he has 26 wins, zero losses, he's undefeated, 26 KOs, and 19 of those KOs were in the first round. So you know, you know, this guy is exciting. Um, they're both lightweight champs, uh, fighting at 130, obviously, and um, let me tell you what I think on both fighters. And this is, honestly, this is pretty much kind of the first time that I think I'm doing an actual prediction on two fighters that I've never seen fight live or you know not at least live on TV I've never really seen any of these two fighters fight uh, ex when I heard the name uh, for the uh, final round fight of the uh, contest that uh, you know the peeps are doing here on YouTube which is a very cool thing that you, uh, I was like alright I'm gonna do the prediction video that's why I came out here so late and I'm doing it now because I really didn't have a chance but I did see like a week ago, I, I looked him up on YouTube and I saw one fight of Valero and one fight of DeMarco. So I'm going to do a prediction vid based on those, those two fights that I saw of each fighter. Um, this is what I think about Antonio DeMarco. Antonio DeMarco, he's tall. You know, he's tall, skinny. He doesn't come out looking for a knockout, but he's dangerous. You know, he's dangerous. He only has one loss. He's young. He's 24 years old. So every time he's stepping in the ring, he's stepping in stronger. Um, he has a very good jab. He does keep his fighter on the outside. That's what I saw in that one fight. He keeps him on the outside. He really picks his shots. So this kid is dangerous. You know, a lot of people probably, you know, uh, I only saw one prediction bid uh, of one of the guys here on YouTube. But I think that a lot of people might be siding with Edwin Valero because Edwin Valero is such an exciting cat. Obviously, he has 26 wins. But the thing is, you know, the reason I haven't seen these fighters, I didn't even know about these fighters, is because usually, you know, when you have famous cats like this, you know, these dudes probably get a lot of airtime in their countries uh, or, or in the area where they live, and I never get, have the chance to see these cats, you know, fight. So, and it, it's sad because I would love to have, I would have loved to have been able to see Edwin Valero a long time ago. I saw that one fight on YouTube, and I'm thinking, damn, this dude is an exciting fighter, man. This dude is like a this dude is a warrior, you know, but I, I understand because of that reason, a lot of people are going to be siding with Valero. Uh, but I think people should not sleep on this Antonio DeMarco kid. You know, I saw that one fight, and I'm seeing just a taller guy with a longer reach. He can really keep this Edwin Valero on the outside. And I'm going to tell you what I think about Edwin Valero. Edwin Valero, he reminds me a lot of a, of a Costa Sue. You know, he has kind of that Ricky Hatton style. Uh, but the difference is... He has 26 knockouts, 19 of those knockouts in the first round. But who were those guys he was knocking out? That's the thing, you know, when these guys come out here with a big, huge record, you're, they're so impressive, but who did they fight? Who did they knock out? You know, I'm just saying I don't know them. Probably the guys who, who know these guys and seen them fight know the, the quality uh, of the fighters he knocked out. So they can, you know, he's probably a legit, you know, undefeated uh, champ. I can't tell you that. You know, I'm not criticizing the guy. But at least me, I haven't seen all those guys knocked out. You know, he's probably fighting high caliber fighters, so he's probably just knocking out a bunch of deadbeats. You never know. Um, but I like his style. But, like I said, he reminds me of a Costa Sue type fighting style, but he does not have that same type of power. You know, I saw this, that one fight I saw on YouTube. The, the, it, it did not impress me. The knockout power he has does not impress me. He does come at you. He does, he, he really, you know, he jumps on you, gets at you. He's just vicious. But, you know, the power didn't really impress me. And a lot of people are actually talking about they should have Edwin Valero fight Pacquiao. You know, I was here and I saw while I was watching that vid, I was seeing a lot of comments around the vid where everybody wants to see Edwin Valero fight Manny Pacquiao. I could be honest with you, man. Edwin Valero, I, I, like I said, it was just based on that one fight I saw, but based on that one fight I saw, I do not think he has a chance versus Manny Pacquiao. 
from what you've seen Manny Pacquiao do in higher weight classes is just amazing. So I don't think Valero can stand a chance. I don't think Valero can hit as hard as Pacquiao. Again, I'm just going based on that one fight that I saw. A matter of fact, now that I remember that one fight that I saw on YouTube, that Valero was fighting this guy, right? It went seven, eight rounds and the fight was stopped because of a headbutt. Something happened, I don't know. Anyway, that same guy fought Manny Pacquiao, I think. I think Manny Pacquiao knocked him out. So, you know, it's just... I don't think this guy could stand a chance versus Manny Pacquiao, but we're not talking about Manny Pacquiao versus Edwin Valero. We're talking Edwin Valero versus Antonio DeMarco. Edwin Valero, man, this guy must have all Venezuela behind him, man. Just to say he has the, the, the Venezuelan flag tattooed on his chest. I've never seen that. I've never seen a boxer with a tattoo of his flag. Man, this dude must be the proudest Venezuelan I've ever seen in my life or the proudest guy of any race I've ever seen in my life. But that just demonstrates to you how exciting this Edwin Valero must be. And all the things that I've been saying, like I said, based on one fight that I saw on YouTube. So, But still, a lot of people might be siding with Edwin Valero, but my prediction is I think Antonio DeMarco could probably win this fight. He's younger. Edwin Valero is already 28 years old. I don't know what type of fights he's been in. If he's, you know, if he's been in these battle type war fights you know if he has a lot of head butts a lot of head cuts sometimes these are all factors that can mean you know they're significant during a fight but um anyway I i'm gonna i'm gonna pick Edwin valero i'm sorry i'm gonna pick antonio demarco i got antonio demarco winning uh decision in 12th round but that's the thing see i don't know who is behind Edwin Valero. I don't know who his promoter is. I think Gary Shaw is Antonio as is Antonio DeMarco's uh, promoter. So depending on which promoter Edwin Valero has, you know, the, the the most powerful promoter promoter always has a bigger chance of winning a decision because of y'all know how it is. You know, the, the 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 robbing the fights and everything. But I do think that Antonio DeMarco will win a 12 round decision that's my my uh, official prediction on that fight and i heard about that atomic versus estrada i believe estrada was that uh, a cuban heavyweight fighting out of miami i believe uh uh that fight will probably just end up being a 12 round decision go to whoever but it doesn't i don't really care about that fight but anyway i think i'll give it to atomic 12 round decision that's my prediction on that so i got i got antonio demarco winning in a 12 round decision win uh, be it a close decision and I got Adamic winning versus Estrada in a 12 round decision be it probably uh, more of a unanimous decision for Adamic so that's my prediction on those fights I hope these are good fights and I hope they are showtime sorry I couldn't get you that info if it's going to be on showtime or not but I hope it is y'all get back at me with that if it's on showtime let me know uh, thanks people